It was the fall of 2009 at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. He is a sophomore, she is a senior. She had spent the previous year in Japan. They meet at a student theater group, the New Rebels Players. He sees her walk into the executive board meeting. She's late. <laughs> Clomping in on crutches. His first impression, she's cute. Her first impression, well, there were a bunch of new people and she does not recall him being there. <laughs> After a few more meetings, she gets to know people's names and faces. She goes to see a play he directs, all in the timing, with her friend Sarah, who will do a reading later. At intermission, they leave. She takes Sarah to the <laughs> She takes Sarah to the train station. She enjoys the place so much, she goes back. While cleaning up, Alex and Billy, an usher today, start singing a cappella, I could have danced all night from my fair lady. She's impressed. She did not think any guy would know all the words. <laughs> and she's figured out he's cute too. During winter break, he messages her through Facebook. He has a cheesy line. I thought of a great joke at work today, but I forgot it before I got home. Can I have your number so I can text you when I think of it? <laughs> to her, it was so cheesy, which is like her, that she had to reward him with her number. He wants her number to be better friends. Spring semester. They see each other occasionally. They interact as they try out and get parts in Dr. Horrible's sing-along blog. She knows he likes her, because everyone told her. <laughs> but she is against dating him since he's younger. In the musical, he's Dr. Horrible. She's the woman he loves, Penny. He sings to her a song called My Freeze Ray. It's about how good he could be for her if she would give him a chance. He sings it to her day after day at rehearsal. <laughs> One day at rehearsal, she's standing there, frozen in place, listening to him think, to sing, and she thinks, I really should give him a chance. After rehearsal for another play, these two stay late and chat. They text. Spring break comes and they text all the time. Her mom made fun of her for it. And they get back from spring break. She has a dinner party. Her brother Tom, a groomsman, cooked especially well done steaks. <laughs> they all watch the movie of Dr. Horrible starring Neil Patrick Harris. These two are still in rehearsals for the play. As the evening ends, after everyone has left, these two practice their lines, and he kisses her. First on the cheek, while trembling, which she finds adorable, <laughs> and then on the lips. Then he asks her out on a date. He knew she'd say yes, and <laughs> she did. They've been dating ever since. Together they enjoy seeing plays and musicals, going on walks, seeing movies, eating, and sometimes making delicious foods. How did Alex propose to Christy? They had looked at rings together. She found the ring online and pointed it out to him. <laughs> he wants to propose on her golden birthday, her 26th birthday on July 26, 2014, at the University of Illinois. A few months before that, he suggests a trip there for her birthday. He's thinking, it's so far out, she won't be suspicious. Her thinking, he's not a planner. He booked a hotel and thought of her birthday that far out. She is suspicious. <laughs> he starts dropping off-handed comments about needing a third job to save up for the ring. She believes him. Less than half an hour from arriving on campus, he innocuously says, I'm sorry I wasn't able to get you anything gold for your golden birthday. That settles it for her. She figures the proposal is not going to happen. The ring is white gold. 
And he is not lying. He did get her a birthday gift, which he gave her the night before, a crock pot. <laughs> she was excited by it. She really wanted a crock pot. She convinced herself it's not going to happen, so she's oblivious to every other thing that he does that day that would have tipped her off. Let's go to campus, he says. She agrees. Can we go to the English building? Okay, she replies. They go to the basement atrium where they frequently rehearsed. He puts my freeze ray, the instrumental version, on his phone. He asks her for help with choreography. He performs it and dances with her. She thinks, what a nice birthday present. And too bad he couldn't get the ring. This would have been the perfect way to propose. <laughs> He gets to the end of the song. He changes the lyrics at the end to Christy Scrubba, Will You Marry Me? in the same rhythm. While doing that, he gets down on one knee with an open ring box, perfectly choreographed to the song. She replies the way every guy hopes, It is today! <laughs> then she says yes. <laughs> she cries, they hug and kiss. He puts the ring on her finger. She calls her mom, who knew since he had asked her parents for their blessing. Oh, and that song? It's a song they will walk out to as husband and wife in a few minutes. <laughs>